Hoping that's gonna come out here. We should go next with a pump. Come on. Blasters, Lance, the Hydro Pump. How much damage are we doing? We get rid of the Gouging Fire. Let's go. We just wasted the Terra and got rid of our, our biggest threat right there. Huge KO there, Blastoise. That's huge. Please outspeed or eat this Heat Wave. Okay, we outspeed. And we land the Hydro Pump. Don't be focused, Ash. No focus, Ash there, baby. Straight one-shotting a Chi Yu. Oh, you love to see it. What's going on, guys? Cisco here. Back with some more VGC Devil Battles. And today, we've got a bulky Shell Smash Blastoise plus a Weakness Policy Symbiosis Florges. All right, so this team is fully centered on Blastoise, like fully. And if we can't get him set up, <laughs> we're just screwed. Let me explain. So we've got a rain dish, bulky, shell smashing Blastoise here. I have fully invested this thing's EVs into its bulk because it already has a pretty decent bulk. Then I gave it shell smash in order to get that plus two in special attack and that plus two in speed in order for it to start hitting hard. And it's got the white herb in order to reset the defensive drops from shell smash. It's running Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, and Flash Cannon. Now, this is where it starts to get out of the ordinary. We're going to be pairing this thing up with Symbiosis Florges, which is holding the weakness policy. So, what Symbiosis does is it passes whatever item the user is holding onto the ally only if the ally isn't holding an item. So, after we go for a Shell Smash and use up our White Herb, Blastoise won't be holding an item anymore, meaning it'll get passed on the weakness policy. Now from there, we could already start ripping with some damage since we're already plus two from the Shell Smash. And we also have that option of Helping Hand on Forges. And then we also have the constant HP recovery with Pollen Puff onto our Blastoise. Now, here's where it becomes a little tough because we're banking on them getting rid of our Forges ASAP. Why, you may ask? Well, in order to bring in that Pachirishu with Follow Me and Thundershock or U-Turn. So, this is actually so cool. So the purpose of Pachirishu is going to be to redirect shots with follow me and most importantly activate the weakness policy to get us to plus four in special attack and you want to know what the best thing is regardless of if we terrestrialize blastoise or not pachirishu will always be able to activate weakness policy on blastoise with either thundershock or with u-turn meaning we'll have a plus four tanky blastoise sounds pretty sick right now the only issue is this isn't a quick one two three setup it's a lengthy setup, and I'm not sure if Blastoise will be able to survive all this damage while we get the weakness policy transferred over to Blastoise and activate it. So that's really the only issue in my mind as of now. Actually, come to think of it, I may give Blastoise Protect in order to be able to protect and swap in my Pachirishu, but I don't know. I'll decide later on because I do like Flash Cannon on it. Anywho, back to the team. We've also got Tornadus here with Tailwind and Rain Dance. And the purpose of this is to give speed control to our squad, of course. And Blastoise actually has Rain Dish, which heals 1 16th of its HP while in the rain. So we also have that HP recovery with Blastoise if we're in the rain. Oh, also, listen, if we're not able to pass on the weakness policy onto Blastoise and Florges ends up keeping it and it gets activated by the opponent. Listen, Florges has a pretty good special attack stat, so it could still deal some good damage with Moonblast. And finally, we've got Instant to do instant things, and we've got Fluttermane in order to help us close out some of these games, as realistically, the only one doing damage here is Blastoise. A very gimmicky and hard concept to set up, but it sounds dope on paper, and hopefully we'll be able to set it up. But guys, if you find yourself enjoying this video, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Or if you're a returning viewer and are joined the content so far, come on, just hit that sub button, it really helps me out and I'd really, really appreciate it. But now... Let's get along with this Blastoise and Florges team and try to get some dubs. All right, we've got Dave here with a Sceptile, Latias, Iron Hands, Prim, Chiyu, and Lucario. Um, I don't. I think I. I think I don't mind leading my Blastoise and Florges. Bring Potch Rishu in the back. The Intimidate is nice here. Don't get me wrong, and I think I actually might bring it. The Intimidate within Sinor is pretty nice here. So we're gonna lock in Incineroar. I know we need Fluttermane to close out that close out the game, but like realistically, most of these guys are affected by that Intimidate. And Flare Bliss does put in a good amount of work here. So yeah, we'll lock we'll lock Incineroar in. We'll go for some parting shots. And this is this is realistically the biggest issue here where Realistically, Blastoise is the only one doing damage here. And I played a, I played one game already, and it missed 34 Hydro Pumps. So, 
that's the risk I'm running with here. Blastoise being the only one to do big damage here. And it has a good possibility of missing its damage. So it's it's very luck based, but we'll see. We'll see if we can pull it off. Um Alright, what are you leading off with here? Iron hands and prim. I could double protect. Just stall out that um fake out turn. And I think I will do that, yeah. Let's double protect. Let's just stall out that fake out turn. Um and if he doesn't go for fake out, I'd, I'd love to see who he goes after. If either Florges or Blastoise. But he does go for fake out. Energy ball. Okay, so he's going to go heavy slam into Florges, I think. Hmm. I think Shell Smashing here is... Ooh, but... This Blastoise should be faster than... Iron Hands. Because my only fear is now... If they go into... Heavy Slam into Forges... Do I, land, do I try going for the Double Protect? I'm gonna try going for the double protect. Because my fear is now, if the Iron Hands outspeeds my Blastoise, hits a Heavy Slam on my Florges, it's gonna get the Weakness Policy boost. And realistically, I want Weakness Policy to go to Blastoise, so... So we'll see. Hopefully, he's gonna Terrasize as well, okay. The Iron Hands into what? Grass. I can hit that with Ice Beam now. I can't hit that with Ice Beam. Come on. Hopefully, we land a double protect here. We do land a double protect. That's huge. That's lovely. Shell Smash is going to come out here. We're going to get that plus two in speed, special attack, and attack. And we're going to get the weakness policy now. So now we can easily transfer. The weakness policy onto Blastoise, come in with Pachirishu, and activate that weakness policy. Yep, Symbiosis is going to come out here. Give me that weakness policy. Thank you very much. And they're doubling my Florges, I think. No way. They doubled my Florges, so that was the freest thing ever. You love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. Now, should we play some games with them? I think they're going to go after Blastoise. I'm going to protect, and I'm going to come in with Pachirishu. Let's see if this works. Hopefully it does. And then we can just U-turn out into like Incineroar to get Intimidate off. Or we come in with Forges to Helping Hand or Pollen Puff here. Oh, okay. This is looking good. Oh my goodness. We actually might pull it off. We're almost there. We're almost there. We got the Shell Smash off for completely free. They're going to come in with... Well, I'm going to come in with Pachirishu here. One of them has to be going for Blastoise. Someone has to be going for Blastoise. Yep. There's the Moonblast into Blastoise. This is exactly why I switched from Flash Cannon onto Protect. Just to be able to swap in that, um, that Pachirishu here. Alright, now we should go for Ice Beam. And I'm going to U-turn out. Oh my goodness. Let's see if this works. Well, unfortunately, my Blasters is going to go first. So Weakness Policy isn't going to activate till next turn. They withdraw the Primarina. Oh my goodness. They're making my life easier. It's going to be Sceptile. Ice Beam is going to come out here onto the Iron Hands. Going to do over half damage. Oh my goodness. U-turn is going to come out here. Barely does any damage. That's actually so perfect. And guess what? We're activating weakness policy. Boys, we got the strat set up. Hopefully, we can pull out this dub now. That's all we need left to pull out this dub. 
And I'm gonna come in with... With Incineroar? And get the Intimidate off? I think that's... I think that's correct, right? Alright, there's a minus one on the Iron Hands, and then minus one on the Sceptile. Yeah, perfect. Oh, they Drain Punch my Incineroar. <laughs> what are the chances of that? Listen, I can tell you one thing and one thing only. Both of you are weak to Ice Beams. I think I get rid of the Iron Hands first. And I'm just going to fake out the Sceptile. Sceptile could have like U-Turn or something, but like I said, both of them are minus one now. I have a Tanky Blast, so it's at plus four. Goes for the Quick Guard. Okay, that's fine. I guess we're not going to fake out the Sceptile. That's fine. We're still going to outspeed and we're still going to land a plus four Ice Beam here. Ice Beam is going to come out here from the Blastoise and we pick up the KO on Iron Hands. That's the first KO for Blastoise. Let's go. All we got to do is focus now. We can't sell this game. We cannot. The Prim is going to be hard to get rid of because it resists everything from us. But at the same time, it can't do too much damage to me. Ooh. Chi Yu. Should I protect? I'm going to protect. Protect Parting Shot. Let's slow this thing down. Let's come in with... Um... They're going to Dark Pulse. Okay. So we could have just attacked there. What's Sceptile going for? Dragon Shear. So that was a free turn for me. And Incineroar flinches. I can't even come out. Um, I'm just going to bank on the fact that we might outspeed. That's it. We're plus two. I know Chiyu is fast, but we're plus two. They're going to withdraw Sceptile. Come on. Please outspeed. Please outspeed or eat this heat wave. Okay, we outspeed. And we land the Hydro Pump. Don't be focused, Ash. No focus, Ash there, baby. Straight one shot and get Chiyu. Oh, you love to see it. Flare Blitz is going to come out here onto the Prim. That's not going to do anything. It did a quarter of its health. That's that's more than something. And boys, boys, ladies and gentlemen, this is looking like a straight dub. Oh my goodness, we actually pulled off the strat, dude. When I was making this, when I was making this team, I was like, is this even possible? But I guess so. Granted, this wasn't the most hyper offensive team, but still. Still some meta Pokemon. Still a Prim. Still an Iron Hand. Still a Chiyu. We just played our cards right and we were able to set up perfectly. What can I say? Blastoise is a beast. <laughs> Listen, who's doing these strats out here? Come on, guys. Who's doing these strats out here? No one else but, but me right here. This is a ballsy strat. It's almost impossible to pull off. Ice Beam's gonna come out here onto the Sceptile. This thing's probably Focus Ash. Yeah, that's Focus Ash. Acrobatics. Guess what? We surviving that. We surviving that with no problem whatsoever. Knockoff's gonna come out here onto the Prim. This thing is now at half HP. We knock off its leftovers. Beautiful. And Hyper Voice picks up the KO on Incineroar. Like I said, that's fine. It's totally fine. What's this thing's speed here, actually? 95. Um. I mean, the right play is... I'm gonna go Florges. I'm gonna try to Pollen Puff here. I'm gonna try to pump off my Blastoise. 
I don't know if we outspeed the prim though. If we out if we outspeed the prim, no problem. But if we don't, we might be screwed. This thing outspeeds me? Cause it used up its item. It oh my goodness. Did we actually just throw? We actually just threw. Oh my goodness, we actually might have just thrown. No, oh my goodness, Patrician Floor just, you guys have to clutch up right here. We're gonna pollen puff. This should get rid of the Sceptile. This should get rid of the Sceptile. Oh my goodness, man. I forgot that this thing has Unburden. Leaf Blade's gonna come out to the Pachirishu. Gonna do some good damage. And we're gonna get rid of the Sceptile. Okay. I need Pachirishu to soak. Beautiful, you soak one. Love to see it. I'm gonna Thundershock it, or I think Nuzzle is the best option. I'm gonna Nuzzle it, and we're gonna Moonblast. And I think we should win this 1v1. Beautiful, battle's canceled. Oh my goodness, I was about to cry. GG's. All right, we've got... Huh. We've got Chen Pao Dragonite, we got Raging Bull, Gouging Fire, the Bundle, and Amoongus. What looks like my best lead here? I don't love the Chen Pao Dragonite, but to be honest, the floor just actually looks pretty strong here. There's not much that can damage the floor just here. So I'm going to lead off floor just and Blastoise. I think we can get the strat off immediately. Then in the back, Fluttermane for sure. And then just Pachirishu. I think Pachirishu with redirection is pretty good here. And if we get the chance to activate our weakness policy, that'd be pretty nice. The Intimidate here with Incineroar is pretty, pretty good too, but I don't know. What do we think? That's tough. It's between Incineroar and Pachirishu. Who would have thought that a decision between Incineroar and Pachirishu would be tough? I'm going to go Pachirishu. It has Volt Absorb. They have a Raging Bolt. The Intimidate, I mean, I don't think it's going to matter too much. The Dragonite is probably inner focus. So yeah, I think, yeah, this is a good decision. I mean, granted, I think Pachirishu might only soak like one or two E-Speeds, but hey, that's one or two E-Speeds that my other Mon didn't have to take. All right, what you leading off with? Are you just going Chen Pao Dragonite? Go bolt and gouging fire. Oh, that's tough. That's a tough lead. Um, he could thunderclap, or he could. Do I just shell smash? Terra Shell Smash and just start chipping up, I think. Yeah, chip up the Gouging Fire. That way, maybe a Hydro Pump next turn could get rid of it. Helping Hand Hydro Pump. I think that should be enough damage. Because I am now scared of the Flare Blitz or the Heat Crash. I mean, I highly doubt he's going to be going for that right now, so... Yeah, there's a Thunderclap, so I didn't even need a Terrasilize there. Kind of had an idea he was going to go for Thunderclaps, but hey, it is what it is. Breaking Swipe is going to come out here. doesn't affect the floor, just going to do very little to the Blastoise. I love my tanky Blastoise. No, the... Mm. It's going to activate the White Herb, man. It's 
Gonna activate White Herb. So our defenses are now low. That's tough. Moonblast is gonna come out here into Gouging Fire. Gonna chip up a quarter, so that's pretty good. Listen, now we just gotta land the pump. We just gotta land the Helping Hand pump. If we land this, we're sitting good. Oh, the defense drop is so bad though. That was smart on their play. I think that was even. I think that was on purpose too. The breaking swipe there. Well played. Well played. We definitely outspeed now. Um, it's just about landing the hydro pump. They're gonna terrasize as well. Is it the gouging fire? Into what? Don't be grass. Fairy. Okay. That's fine. Listen, we're still neutral. Helping Hand's gonna come out here. We should go next with a pump. Come on. Blasters lands the Hydro Pump. How much damage are we doing? We get rid of the Gouging Fire. Let's go. We just wasted the Terra and got rid of our, our biggest threat right there. Huge KO there, Blastoise. That's huge. And Thunderbolt's gonna come out here onto the floor just, and we're gonna soak that up. Now we go Helping Hand Ice Beam because... Listen, this Raging Bull is one tanky dinosaur. <laughs> it's one tanky dinosaur. So despite a good play from the turn one, we still got half the strat to work and we're looking really solid here. Now, if they bring Chen Pao, we're kind of screwed. Of course they have a Chen Pao. Listen, we outspeed. We 100% outspeed. Let me protect. I think he's gonna get too eager. Go for like a icicle shard. Oh, uh, not icicle shard. Icicle spear. Icicle crash. What am I saying? Icicle crash. And I'm just gonna go moon blast into the Chen Pao. Blast is gonna protect. I think regardless, we do outspeed. Yeah, they go for the icicle crash. They got too greedy. They got too kill happy. Lovely. Thunderbolt's gonna come onto floor just again. That's perfectly fine. We're going to survive. And Moonblast is going to bring this thing down to Sash. Yup. Beautiful. You love to see it. Now I'm just going to go Ice Beam and Helping Hand here. I think the Champa might even protect here. Since it's at 1 HP. We outspeed now. I'm pretty sure we outspeed. Blastoise, don't let me down. You better outspeed. Beautiful. We outspeed. Ice Beam comes out here. Helping Hand, Ice Beam. We do three quarters. That that's good damage. Ice Crash is gonna come out here. Gonna pick up the KO, right? Yeah. Gonna get rid of my Blastoise. Listen, we, we have a Flutter Main. Flutter Main. This is exactly why I put Flutter Main on this team, just to finish this game out. Thunderbolt's gonna come out here. Gonna get rid of my Floor just, and that's perfect. Now I have a Follow Me Posture issue, and a Dazzling Gleam Flutter Main with Protosynthesis and the Booster Energy. So, this is looking like a GG's. And they wasted Terra already. Yeah, we're, si we're sitting so nice here. Now, the only... Th oh, not even. I was going to say, the only thing they could go for is Sucker Punch. But we're following me. Just follow my Pachirishu. Look at the cute little squirrel. And attack it. <laughs> Let it take all the damage. Follow me. And Dazzling Gleam. And that, that should be GG's. That should be game. Blastoise and Floor just put in some crazy work, though. That duo has been impressing me so far. All right, here comes the follow me. And there's a sucker punch. Beautiful. And yeah, that's that's enough. Yeah, <laughs> and they thunderclap. They double, double priority move. Dazzling comes out here. Gonna pick up the double KO. And it becomes a 2v1, and I have follow me galore. Let's go, boys. Yo, this team is popping off. I am super proud of this team. This might be up there with one of my best teams. Who's your last month? Dragonite? Has to be Dragonite. Yep, there's a Dragonite. Follow me and Dazzling Leaf. 
He could have Iron Head. Battle was canceled. GG's. Let's go, boys. This team is killing it. All right, we've got Dom here with... Huh. Slitherwing. I think that's the name, right? Slitherwing? But they've got a Raikou here. they got a pretty bulky side of themselves here. Um, I still need Blasters and Florges here. Come in Pachirishu. And I think maybe... Do we Incineroar or Fluttermane here? I think maybe Fluttermane. I think Fluttermane does a better job of closing this game out. Let's try one more time to get this um, strat set up. The whole plus four. And we'll see. We were only able to set up in the first game there. Um, Because they led more passively and they let us get it set up. But I'll see. I'll see. I'll focus up and try to get the setup going for you guys. Showcase it one more time. Gonna be the Okie Dogie in the save line. That thing can have Encore. I'm just gonna Shell Smash and Moonblast. We should survive a Poison Jab from the Okie Dogie, so I'm not really too worried. We'll still get the Weakness Policy from it. You're skill swapping, bro? Oh, get out of here, man. So he's going to activate my weakness policy. Listen. Remember what I said. Weakness policy on Forges isn't bad. Because watch this. <laughs> watch this. Well, first off, we're going to get the white herb stuff. But Moonblast is going to come on to save light. If this thing is in Focus Ash... Okay. I was going to say, if it's not Focus Ash, it's gone. But it's Focus Ash. Um, we're going to get chipped up by poison damage a little bit more. The poison kind of sucks. But we're going to Hydro Pump and... Actually, this, this, this thing might have Encore. I'm going to protect. This thing might have Encore. Oh, you withdraw the save by. Okay. So he didn't have uh, Encore. It's going to be Wo Chen. Does that get rid of me? No, we survive at 22. But we're going to die to the next poison. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Florges. Weakness policy. Florges did all that to a Wo Chen. Oh my goodness. I kind of want to go Fluttermane. But no, I'm going to go a little Pachirishu issue here. We're gonna go with Pachirishu. We're just gonna go for some follow me's and some hydro pumps. I don't think Wolchen can really do much. All I could do is like a leech seed here. But that's really not gonna do anything. Yeah, Wolch is gonna protect. That's fine. That's no problem for me. Follow me comes out here. Come on over here, Okie Dogie. Whatever you're gonna do. Hydrum is gonna come out first. It's gonna do maybe half. Oh my good, never mind. We do like 90 damage. 90% to this thing. Oh, this guy's disgusting. I'm sorry, but this Pokemon is just crazy. We're gonna ice beam the Wo Chen now. And nuzzle you. Thundershock you. Is Thundershock enough? I don't think it's enough. We'll try it. We'll try it. Let's see if Pachirishu can pick up a KO here. Woach is going to come back. They're going to come in with Raikou. Just going to take a plus two Ice Beam to the face. How much are we doing? Okay. A third of damage. Oh, wait. After the Drain Punch, is not going to be enough. 
Damn it. Thundershock would actually... Oh, that was a crit. Never mind. I don't know. I don't think it would have been enough. Uh, let's just go Ice Beam into the Okie Dogie and just follow me. Let's get rid of this Okie Dogie. Realistically, Okie Dogie is the only Pokemon doing damage for them. This Raikou might be an attacking Raikou, but we have a posture issue here with follow me and full absorb, so. I wonder if they know that it has full absorb. They must know. They must know it has full absorb. Follow me is going to come out here. We're going to outspeed. Going to get rid of the Okie Dogie. And what's this Raikou going for? Please go for the electric move. Oh, Snarl. Gonna put me at minus one. It's kind of boring. They're gonna come in with Sableye. Uh, I'm just gonna go for the Hydro Pump and a Nuzzle into Sableye. Just get rid of the Sableye, I think. I think they might just start snarling. Especially knowing that they have follow me. That I have follow me, they're not going to go for an electric thing move. So I think they're just going to keep snarling. Encore. what I go for? I went for Ice Beam, though. No? Yeah, that's fine. So now my Blasters is down to neutral on special attack. We're going to get rid of the Sableye now. And I'm not really sure what they're, what they're planning here because realistically we still win. Gonna ice beam uh the Raikou and go for a follow me. And this is GG's. There's nothing they can do here. It was a very passive game. I think we could have gotten the Strat off, but unfortunately they had skill swap, of course. But hey, weakness policy symbiosis. Uh, not weak symbiosis, weakness policy floor just actually did some work. Ice beam's gonna come out here. Not gonna pick up the KO on Raikou. Wow, that did nothing. That actually did nothing. They're gonna seed me. Um, listen, we can sit here all day if you want. But I can guarantee you're not winning this game. I'm gonna go Ice Beam to the Wo Chen, and I'm gonna go U turn. This is going to do enough damage where Fluttermane can pick up the KO when it comes in. Ice Beam comes out here. Does a little bit of chip. We're going to go for another Snarl. We both survive still. And u turn picks up the KO. There you go. Pachirishu picked up his KO in the video. Pachirishu got its KO. And now we come in with Fluttermane and we just... Delete this Raikou. It's done. It's GG's. Yeah, they really didn't have any offensive pressure here. It was it was pretty it was a pretty weird team. Blastoy ends his on court. We're gonna go for the Hydro Pump. We're gonna go for Dazzling Gleam, and that should be GG's. Battle was canceled. Let's go. GG's. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The Shell Smash, Blastoise, and Symbiosis Flourish's team is complete. And to be honest, I was shocked. Blastoise is such a tank, number one. And the strat actually worked out. We were able to pull it off for one game only, where we got the Blastoise to plus four. But every other game, we were able to get Blastoise off to plus two, at least. And Pachirishu was still there to redirect hits. Even though we couldn't activate weakness policy, Pachirishu was still able to redirect hits. So even at plus two, Blastoise was still able to do a decent chunk of damage and pick up some good KOs against some meta teams.
but i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel or if you should enjoy the content just hit that sub button it really helps me out and i'd really appreciate it and i'll catch you guys in the next one see you